Hi, I'm Blake Ewing. Together with Sound Iron, I'm excited to introduce the next volume in the Sonospheres line, Sonospheres 4 Direction. Direction consists of all new samples recorded mostly right here in my studio and includes felted piano, guitars, synthesizers, voices, and a couple of field recorded percussive kits. Today, I'd like to walk you through one of my demo tracks for the library, Midnight Sun. First, we'll take a listen to the Stereo Master and then go in and look a little deeper at the instruments I used and the arrangement. Let's have a listen. Okay, so that's the stereo final product. So how did we get there? Well, let's take a look. So within each of these folders, we have MIDI and audio sort of per instrument group. So I've, well, I've gathered the pianos in one folder, guitars, synths, strings, etc. And the MIDI is from the original composition stage of the uh, song and then I have the audio from the bounced MIDI tracks that I could then go on and mix. Those mixed tracks then went into this file which is the master file where I did the final processing and created the song that we just listened to. So as far as the instruments that were used the main one is the fragile piano from the piano section of the library. And so the piano, let's see, by itself sounds like this. So we have that sort of thematic line throughout the rhythm of the, the sort of triplet da -da 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 feel is sort of the undercurrent for the whole song. Uh, that'll get passed to uh, one of the synths and uh, 
bass will kind of carry that on as well as the um, percussion. Uh, before the piano comes in, though, there is a little bit of an intro, just a held chord in the uh, synth, and then I used one string patch as well. So we can listen to that really quickly. And there for the uh, synth patches, I'm using Path and Kef or KEF. And for these strings, Growth. So moving on from that intro section, the next thing that really happens is uh, some vocals come in. So this is a patch called Glacier, which is uh, a sort of falsetto male voice. And let's hear what that sounds like by itself. And with that, I start to introduce a little bit of texture with some synths. Um, sorry, with the, well, they're guitars, but they're affected in a way that makes them more like pads. Solo those, and we can listen to that together. So the next part really that comes in is, is the bass line. Well, it's a synth called line, and uh, here I'm using it as a sort of rhythmic bass part. I'm gonna turn the piano on with that just to kind of hear how it goes with the main line. And from there, the synths that came in a little earlier, as well as the guitar textures, those continue to grow. Uh, we're going to add a new vocal from the uh, instrument sanctuary. And let's just check that out really quickly. So all of the textures, the synths, the ambiences, the guitar affected patches, um, the string patch, all of that's going to kind of combine here in the middle. There will be a bit of a counter melody in some of the synth patches and that sanctuary vocal patch, as well as uh, just overall growth in volume and the, the piano melody is going to jump up an octave. When that happens, the synth 1984 comes in and is going to duplicate that triplet pattern in the piano as well as one of the filled kits that has been low pass filtered. Let's take a look at that real quick. You see here in the filter section the LP6 uh, filter and um, it's also arpeggiated with that same triplet feel. And altogether that is going to sound like this. That leads into sort of a, a climactic moment and uh, we bring in kind of a new texture, a new rhythm uh, with 
more of a guitar orient oriented sound. Up to this point, it's been very piano heavy with synth and guitar textures sort of underpinning that. And now we're going to move more into a more of a true guitar sound. And the patch that I'm using to do that is called Altitude 2. And we'll take a listen to that by itself. Now, along with the Altitude 2 instrument, we bring in uh, one of the presets, custom presets that I made called Memory Lines. And I really like this one because it's going to give it a nice underpinned rhythm, which on this particular track, we've, we've gone to eighth notes. And uh, there's also an, a volume LFO with sort of a sawtooth shape. And let's put those two together and listen to what that sounds like. And then the next thing that comes in here is going to be a bass, which what I did for the bass Let's take a look at the MIDI for that. Um, I just tur turned off of the main two layers and Sound Iron has included a sub synth uh, third patch option here or sound source option. And I went with the uh, Saw Soft One. And the main things that I did with this uh, were again filter it a bit. And under the Legato design, I chose a portamento and, and I played around with the length because I really wanted the bass to kind of just slow, not slowly, but kind of fall into uh, its parts, especially on its second note. And I just really liked that sound for this mood. So when you put those together, that sounds like this. Coming out of that section, we're gonna we're gonna go back into sort of the vibe of the intro with the piano and synth pads. But before that happens, there's a bit of a transition here with this patch called Or from the Mallets presets, and also Traveler. They just give a little bit of extra to get us from that one section to the next. Well, let's hear what that sounds like. So it's subtle, but it gives just a little bit of life to the ending of the one section leading into the what's going to be the end of the song. And for the end of the song, basically what I did was I took the bass from the piano, the, the left hand triplet rhythm, and removed it completely from the piano and gave it to the 1984 synth, which had duplicated it in the middle section, but now it's going to have it on its own. And that leaves the fragile piano to just play the sort of simple melody at the end. We're also going to bring back in those pads and uh, string texture from the very beginning that led us into the song, which I think kind of makes for a nice uh, circle. And uh, so the ending sounds like this. So that's it. That's uh, Midnight Sun, a little bit of a walkthrough. I know we didn't get too in-depth with it, but uh, hopefully that helps to see how or which patches I chose to use for this song and a little bit of the arrangement within it. 
So again, please check out Sonosphere's for direction. I hope you love it, and thanks for watching.